you guys wake up. Uh, you are in a very, very nice room. Uh, I chose you guys each laying in a separate bed with your doors cracked open and you hear uh, classical music being played. Uh, it sounds like from the other room. Uh, very okay. posh looking rooms. Etc. I'll go check it out. You go over. You're you're you. When you get out of bed, you seem to be in striped pajamas. They're, they're <sighs> like um, uh, not the kind of stripes you're used to, not the prison stripes, but you know they're they're <laughs> top to bottom. Oh shit! Now what? <laughs> they're they're the top to bottom stripes. Um. Uh, there's slippers uh, nearby if you'd like to put them on as well. Or you go barefoot on the uh, plush carpeting. I'll put my slippers on. I'm not okay. a beast. All right. There's also a dressing gown if you'd like to put that on. No. No? I'm not feeling it, that stuff today. No? Um, uh, there's also a... Uh, 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 well, anyway, there's all kinds of, like, I'm rich accoutrements and shit. You go over and open the door, and in the uh, main room of the suite is a small orchestra playing. <laughs> Pete, what are you doing? Um, yes, I was going to get up and put my slippers and dressing gown on. No problem. It, is it, is it uh, silk, woolen, cotton? Silk. Well, silk. it's silk-ish, if not silk. Okay. Um you guys look over at each other. Uh, you recognize the room. You're in the Helton, uh, Pete. Um, uh, now that you're awake, uh, the orchestra finishes their number, packs up, and leaves. The uh, butler uh, bows to you and says, Breakfast, gentlemen? Uh, yes, thank you. Hmm. Uh, the, he summons the cook who begins setting up stuff, uh, and a couple of waiters come and set a table in your room the look on doc fulton's face is like mm. he looks a cross between angry and constipated this morning good morning doc. i need to murder someone see you now Every, everybody stops just briefly <laughs> and then continues with their duties that makes me feel so much better <laughs> All right, wait till the staff have gone. No problem. Uh, eventually, you guys, if you would like, you can take um, coffee on the veranda or tea. Um, it's basically a, a, like a balcony so you can overlook uh, the white smoke-plumed town of Gothic San Angeles. They keep bringing me back here, and I keep escaping. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't here. I wasn't. Well, I, I did not finish here previously either. So, no, I'm always finished here. I just want to go somewhere else. But yeah, I, I, I finished up somewhere else where I don't know where it was because I went there and suddenly disappeared before I got to see what it was. Uh, from the amount of uh, racket on the. Uh, road with the horses and people mm -hmm. yelling at each other and stuff like that and all the normal things you would expect in uh, a uh, like a 1900s london type of setup even in the posher district um Is, you was, have, there, was there a um broadsheet with the with breakfast of course there's a it was ironed lovely yes um how I much has myself Lovely. Has much time passed? Uh, no, uh, uh, probably less than a month. Okay. You're Lovely. looking for the room price, yes. This is an expensive room, but how often do you have that uh, a small orchestra as your alarm clock, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so you guys have, what I was going to say is you guys have enough security because I know the first half hour to an hour will be the informational exchange okay. so you guys have plenty of drinks to hand uh relative comfort and uh pretty good security you've uh, gotten all of these staff to go about different duties elsewhere in the hotel 
Okay. Well, if we're gonna have, if we're gonna drink out on the veranda or coffee, I needed to have phase up. So now we can go up there just fine. I'm just worried about. Yeah, you know how that is. Oh mm. shit! By the way, a quick side note for Chris: you're not sure if it was a dream or a cut scene or what in the fuck happened, but. You could call it a vision if you want, okay? But yeah. here's what happened, and I apologize to Pete for the repeat. Ha. That's okay. I wasn't sure if Chris had heard this before or not. The scene opens with the princess, uh, you recognize as Princess Danny, with an elderly lady retainer whom you recognize as Pete knows her name, I don't. The older lady retainer goes, won't you give up on this foolishness, Princess Danny? Princess Danny looks up from a painting of a portrait of Alex Kinley toward the camera as the music swells. He'll come for me, oh, he'll come for me. The camera pulls back as Princess Danny begins dancing around, revealing all of the walls are covered with pictures of Alex Kinley. He romanced me, he wants me. There's only one man for me, and that's Alex Kinley. Princess Danny approaches one the four poster bed and begins working one of the posts suggestively. He's coming to me, oh he's coming in me. Soon you'll see, oh soon you'll see. There's only one dashing prince for me, and that's Alex Kinley. The matron gasps and looks shocked. Princess Danny grinds a bit on the bedpost. I know because he loves me because her. Yeah. And she goes over to the window and crooks a finger to Bluebird, which chirps happily at her. I've secretly had his baby. The matron faints in the background. Bird tweets at her and moves toward her singing. And it's a happy song and bang, gunshot. Princess Danny spasms and slumps out the window. The camera pans down to show blood dripping down the stonework. There you go. That's why you need to cast phase before you fucking go out on the veranda. <laughs> There's your card for that card. <laughs> uh, uh, well, we knew that was going to happen eventually because, like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> He mutters darkly. He looks cheerier now that he's had his vision. <laughs> you know, a little bit of murder in the morning, uh, you know, makes you feel better about life. Picks you up. Yeah. I don't know why. It just right. warms my heart. Yes, that's two sessions Logan has gotten open with a musical. And what's really great is watching the expression of the new guy who had no idea who any of those people were, nor why yes. the fuck he was seeing a musical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Um, I understand that you released <laughs> The Sleeper. <laughs> Yeah, the sleeper has awoken. <laughs> yeah, so um I heard that spice, you know, is something good for everybody. Uh huh. Blue eyes. Something huh? about it expanding consciousness and shit, I don't know. Whatever. So he he had blue eyes, did he? No. No, he didn't. Okay. I was half expecting him to have blue eyes. Um, had you looked into Ollie's father at all before releasing him? No. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Was I supposed to? Well, it seemed like the right thing to do and the tasty way to do it, so I did it. It destroyed the Shadow Academy, so I mean, to me, that was a good, that was a plus. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's destroyed or just disconnected. Uh, yeah, alright, so you had no idea why he was actually bound? 
Um, hold on. Uh, cause he was really good at magic mm-hmm. and, uh, they actually, he actually is, was the creator of the shadow of Canopy as well. Okay. I believe. He, he makes, he can make bubble dimensions. Hmm. I can tell that this was the fucking day that I was like barely awake. <laughs> That's when you make your best decisions. Put the yeah. sphere in the thing there. Yeah. No wait, I'm was that you- no that was a solo day for me, wasn't it? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, whatever. All this work has made your brain softer. Yes, it has. Right. Okay, so um yeah, you so apparently, okay. So he created the Shadow Academy and can make sh- bubble dimensions interesting. Yeah, the Shadow Council. Um, oh, so the Shadow Council made him make the Shadow Academy, and the mm-hmm. Shadow Council also then bound him because he didn't want to continue doing work for them. I believe okay. that's what happened. Okay. Can I make a memory roll on this, Logan? Uh, sure, if you want. Did you freeze up, Chris? Chris froze up. That's what you get for trying to make a memory roll. (laughs) (laughs) He's completely locked. Yeah. Die, internet, die. No memory roll for you. (laughs) And he's never heard from again. That worked out rather well. And he's back. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what the funny part is? That entire time I heard everything you guys said. (laughs) Nice. Like everything, like the video was going and everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Fucking crappy internet here. I want to punch things. All right. Memory. I got my memory well. Uh, it was kind of like that. Uh, you're, you're not sure if the guy tried to quit or if the shadow council just bopped him on the head and dragged him off and said, you are belong to us now. Okay. Uh, but there was also something about threatening the guy's daughter and stuff. Essentially, the more you guys are finding out about the Shadow Council, etc., they are not nice people. Also, uh, do you know what more do you know about the White? Uh, in, in regards right? to uh, the Immaculate Conception. Yeah. The Pinocchio Mildred. effect. Yeah, yeah, Mildred's um, girlfriend, Maddie. Mm-hmm. And good white and the bad white, and all well, the gas and the bass. <laughs> and Boston, and um, yeah, I was. Mildred gave me a rundown, so I got a Mildred briefing. Right, that's why I was asking you what you knew if you needed to know <laughs> more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Basically, uh, apparently, you guys got uh, she got slipped a note or something that was from her girlfriend saying, "Don't look into it." Um, she became Batgirl. Um, you got, yeah. So you caught some a security guy for the bad ass and interrogated him and found out stuff about the Boston headquarters. But apparently, they don't know where Mildred's girlfriend is. Um, we debated about doing any going to Boston, but decided it was going to be a dead end, so we didn't worry about it. Oh, really? Based on yes, based on a critical memory role that Mildred made, and the gods telling her so. Okay. Um, I do know that the As so, in, not necessarily a dead end, but, you know, we, we could take them out, which case take out the bad guys, but it was more the case that we wouldn't, they didn't know where her girlfriend was, so there wasn't really going to be any information there of use. Well, here is uh, the security codes to the mainframe of the white, in case you ever come across that. Thank Here's you. the security codes. We got them from, that was the, the guy that we actually, that I did the indigo interrogation on um he was actually the head of their security oh okay d 
did she tell you about what indigo interrogation is? No, she didn't mention anything about that. Okay, so I've developed a way that I can uh, basically ask questions of people mm-hmm. of a different a- that are influenced by different AI by mm-hmm. making small cuts on them, making small cuts on me, and having the nanites from purple invade their body. Yep, yep. <laughs> And then I force my will upon them, and uh, I get a bunch of get ten questions, but then they die horribly. Okay. Yep. Okay, I wasn't sure. If... I'll no, try no, to. Yeah, yeah metal. Um, yeah, she didn't tell me anything about that. But... All right, I'll try to teach you some of this. All right. Oh shit! I think I might have taught you something. I'll teach you, but I have to charge. <laughs> I, by the way, I don't have my nanites, my bugs with me at the moment. Oh, no, no, these no. are the ones that are present in your blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> As opposed to the actual bugs. I wasn't sure if you meant the bugs no, or the actual I don't. Nanites. I don't use those oh, either right now because I don't want them to go bye-bye. So they're yeah, in red carpet. That, yeah, exactly. That's why I haven't brought them across here either. Right, did you actually home. pick your teaching role, Chris? Yes, I did. Now I just oh, need to God. make the actual other role. i got to look to see where I wrote that down. So close. All right, so, so I have an assistant reroll as well if you need it. There you go. All right. Do you have any skill? Pl- you don't have any skill plus cards, do you? Uh, let me double check. Uh, I'll play. Let's see. I've got an assistant plus five. I can play on you. Oh, I have a right. assistant ten. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, just the plus five I got. All right. Hold on one second. I know what I can do here. I do have a. Happy yeah, Pie, same. everybody draws one card. You guys want to make this happen. Most as fun is trying to dance. Oh, and also after you get done teaching this to him, both of you can make an evidence analysis rule on something else that comes to mind whether it's true or not or whether it's correct or not. I'm not going to say, but it's one of the multitude of possibilities. Oh. Yeah, no, get rid of the nada. Um, yeah, there's something I want to ask you about the vision slash dream as well, Logan. That okay, let's do that I after think, Chris gets yeah, yeah, done with I'll his role, and then I get done with just, your next. Yeah, yeah, thing I, just and, yeah. Mention, I just mentioned it just in case I forget. I All like. Right. I'm going to remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and he's locked up again, but he can probably still hear us. I will play the... His internet sucks at cock. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's so angry plot, right now. Plot dildo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Are you playing the big black pot, plot dildo, or is your internet the big black plot dildo? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you The that. internet is. Okay. Well, look look at the bright side of things. After you get enough money together and get a new place, Chris, then uh, you can get uh, good internet, and then you can have it throttled because you're not in a state with net neutrality. Cool. Huh? Yay. No, I didn't make it. I'll play an assistant reroll on you. Hooray. And a assistant plus five on you. Hooray. <laughs> well, you try to watch it. Don't make it. You'll know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now the evidence analysis role for both of y'all. Y'all. Evidence. The rolls are not with me today. I can tell. Oh, I made yeah. it though. Mm, good. Yeah. Make it. You guys are thinking that if there's nanites in your blood, if you ever choose to stop serving indigo you may actually just suffer a fucking horrible death right there and then but it is one way to get clear of indigo as well yeah well, that was my understanding was that if we the only way to get clear of one of the colors was to pretty much die or get a complete blood transfusion yeah assuming that none of them have dug their way into your organs and stuff sure yeah yeah you do and be shit. present in an EMP. So EMP, boom, they're so small they'll be destroyed. Yeah, or, you know, a large magnet and they'll slowly pull out of your body. 
Oh, that not necessarily. Be it depends on what they're made of. Mm, sure. Although Indigo did metal. seem to be in interested in metal. Right. I know they're so, going to be made of metal. At least these ones, because these are the ones that are in me it, are primitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows, so what it you would do is you'd go get an MRI while you're in red carpet, so that way you'd slowly heal while they were pulled out of you with a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining the funny scene of uh, Chris trying to go through a metal detector at the airport and goes through and it beeps, and he takes off his belt and is changing that beeps, and he takes off his, his cuffs and the beeps, and then it shows him going through naked, holding his junk, and it beeps, and he's like, <laughs> they're like, too much metal in your body. Management. Yeah. Uh, so you were you were asking about some other stuff. Yes, Pete? the vision slash dream, something that occurred to me after the fact because mm -hmm. I didn't know that the king had died. Was she dressed? Were they dressed in mourning when she got shot? Negative. Right, because that was something I wasn't sure of whether or not he died before or after she was shot. Oh. It seemed, I thought the the impression I got from when we went there was that he died before she was shot. Ooh. Oh, right. do you, have you ever experienced in your lifetime um, anything from, hold on, before I, before I say anything else. Whatever you do, Chris, when you're thinking hard, don't come. Don't become absolutely still while you're thinking hard, because we think. No, I think he's anything. potentially writing you a message to clarify something with you. Oh no, that's fine. I was just worried if he became completely still. Oh, that, you, you think know, he's, he's dead, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can. So I have all memories that the doc had from the past, correct? Uh, blurry uh, through a, a, a dirty window, seeing things out of a dirty window. Good morning, Snookums. Good morning. Man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but see, I know enough about that. So, have you ever heard of anything called uh, or run into anybody from Amber at all? No. Okay. So, there's a thing that I've now encountered because now I know it's true is that um, there's something called trump cards and they exist because I walked through one a little while ago. I used one. And uh, part of Route 66? No. It was in the Shadow Academy, actually. Okay. Um, it was a large, quote unquote, it was a large painting, and I was able to uh, the... focus my essence and go through it. Okay. So you're talking about the old library or the lighthouse? The old library. Okay. Yeah, I could never enter into that one. So there's another one. <laughs> the look on Chris's face. Like, and Pete's so... like, this one or this one? Which do you prefer? He's like, bro. So in the, basically that's how Mildred and I escaped the dungeons. In the dungeons, um, somebody engraved the lighthouse, um, the lighthouse here in this town, using it in a wall. And so we were able to activate it and pass through. What dungeon? Where? In the Shadow Academy, there's the dungeon where you get sent if you're naughty. Wait a minute, Pete. Are you saying that answers to questions that he has may be located in a place that you no longer have access to? Be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking of God. the Shadow Academy. Do hmm. you have the um, four pages that I cut out of the book about the ghost dance? Or are they there still as well? They were in my um, waterproof bag. Which I believe you got. Mm -hmm. There was, which means was, they're on red carpet because I had that bag with me beautiful. when I was yeah. transported out. That's all right. Just as long as we know where they are, as mm -hmm. I don't know of any other copies of that book. 
I had to break into the restricted section to get those pages. Oh, fuck me running. Where is that lighthouse? It's down the beach over there. It's a one-way journey. It was a one-way ja jaunt. Basically, we had to focus ourselves on it for a bit and try and assert our will and... Mildred actually managed to do it, and as she stepped through, I grabbed hold of her, and she pulled me through with her. Yeah, it's a lighthouse on the beach down there. Is there anything we're doing directly right now? Uh, <laughs> drinking tea. Okay. If you mean bigger than that, not really. I mean, there's lots of things we could look into, but I think the Shadow Academy is one of the things I was interested in potentially looking further into. Okay, let's go to the lighthouse. Yes, because actually I've, I learned something that I'm curious to see if it will work there. Um, do you have, did you, after the Shadow Academy went bye-bye, did you get kicked out and appear anywhere in particular? Here. Okay, as in you woke up in bed or something? Or... No, we popped out because um, I brought the daughter with. Okay, Olivia. you did. Yeah, yeah. All right, I was curious about what happened with Ollie. All right. And uh, she went off with him. Like, he gave me a boon and then popped away. Like, psh, gone. Okay. He's like, peace out, bitch, and left. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming you used Ollie to remove the one of the um, bindings? No. Okay. That was my supposition that we, Mildred and I found him, but unfortunately we phased out of existence shortly after finding him and checking out a few things. Um, but yes, um, when we... Well, wait, no, about... wait, no, part of it was using her because she needed to be safe or something or... Yeah, yeah, one of the bindings is emo was emotional and we, su we suspected that we'd need Ollie for that one. So we'd have to take Ollie there. All right, so yeah, that's all right. I was curious if our suspicion was correct. All right, um, have you tested? Have you checked to see if you could get back to the Shadow Academy via the other gates, the two gates? Uh, the one in the sewers? No, I haven't actually. I haven't. We've we've been busy running around okay. red carpet and um, making sure I, that we I, had a yep. movie deal and whatnot. You, do you know about the gate downstairs here that links to the Shadow Academy? I'm not sure if you worked that one out or not, because we hadn't no. crossed paths since. And so where my bag was, that door, there was a gate behind oh, it. The black door? Yes. But and, uh, don't, it was time locked and it only opened at night. And where did that go to? the smoking room downstairs, which is why I've got a room here. There's something, there's some sort of ward or something on the smoking room that makes people not want to go in there. Except for us, as in, I've got no problem, we had no problems going there, but yeah. Of an evening, there's, in the smoking room, there's a freestanding partition and the gate's behind that. So, we didn't, um, we did not get a chance to check it out after I found out the Shadow Academy had gone to see whether or not it was there. We could do that right now, couldn't we? It only, it only oh, exists at during at night. I'd still like to go check the lighthouse. Yep. So, Cause shall I we now, away? Yeah, because I now know how to identify gates. Oh, nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, and something you might find of use. I've got these goggles that allow you to see magic. Where did you get these? The Shadow Academy. <laughs> Excuse me. You are so lucky I can't te teleport, Logan, because I would fucking hit you in the dick right now. <laughs> 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 oh god damn I love
love it. Ah, oh, so much fun. Yeah, they, they, they were very useful for like, checking out the checking out the sleeper, etc. <laughs> Chris just fucking and unfortunately, I had no way of putting them somewhere safe and passing them on to people. So. <laughs> Mm. Oh, have you been back to red carpet lately or no? Um, yes, a couple of times, uh, okay. but nothing dramatic. Uh, one time was there, we had to film a couple of days episodes of Handy, and then I got arrested from the by the police for um, Space, um, I keep forgetting what that damn spousal. word is. Spousal. spousal. Thank you. Spousal abuse on Mildred. Hmm. I'm sure she deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> no, as it, she punched a hole in the wall when we found out about her girlfriend. Somebody ca came, saw the hot wall, and saw Mildred carrying on. Got got the wrong idea, and then Mildred was started having fun, and yeah, it just spiraled out of control from there. Um. As so many things in this fucking campaign yeah. do. And oh. we also went, went there and collected, bought some gear for Desert Survival that um, didn't do anything there besides just nicking there, grabbing gear and coming back. Oh, and you but mentioned, I, you, did you do this? You did the Route 66 thing because you yes. said something about Route 66. Did you complete it? Yes. Yeah, you guys can talk about that freely if you wish. Okay. Yes. We've both done it. And Mildred and I both walked it. We appeared elsewhere however we blacked out as motherfuckity as fuck so oh, we don't continue, so, please, so sorry I, no you're right what was the motherfuckity fuck part about i'm i'm writing you can continue pete sorry uh, no you're right yeah, so we blacked out as soon as we appeared. I.e., end of mission, end of session. So we, so I wasn't sure if, yeah. So I know it's somewhere else, but as to where, how, why, I know not. And I've got no idea if Logan intends to run it again or not. So I don't know whether or not it's a spoiler territory or not. Uh, Chris has already done. Like I said, you guys can just YouTube. Yeah, can yeah I, Chris has done it. I have not. On what? Where we where we appeared after oh, we walked. No, the no, uh, he he didn't go anywhere special either because he also was at end of mission. Oh, okay. So he doesn't know where it goes to either. Nobody knows where it goes. Right. Because, check. Yeah. So that's yeah. All right. So yeah. So I wasn't too sure if we'd actually start there. <laughs> you can say that out loud if you want, Chris. The recording would love to see that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I need to go to the lighthouse first. All right. Sorry. There's things afoot. Rawr. All right. I'm causing Chris <laughs> real life sad loss. I'm so fucking happy. Oh. <laughs> Let's uh, get dressed and we'll ah, head over to the lighthouse. That's a card for Pete. I was going to... Uh, like, if you guys were like, we go to the lighthouse, I was going to say cut two, and you guys staying there in your fucking pajamas. <laughs> hey, at, least I, at least I got my dressing gown on. Yes, of course. You are a proper <laughs> gentleman. Uh, but you guys uh, change clothes. How do you want to dress? Like, basically, low, medium, high class is what I'm looking for. I don't need yeah, that. Um, Pop I, coat, I don't care. Yeah, it's tricky because we're in a high place here, whereas the lighthouse is not in a high place. Correct. Uh, let me bring up the map. Yeah, you're going to be, as, as you can see on the map, and Chris has a strange hatred of these maps for whatever reason. Uh, but uh, uh, you're going to be going from here, passing through the town center, passing by the brothel district, and then onto the beach. But um, yeah, I don't know why Chris doesn't like these maps. They just don't seem to jive with his head. Uh, there we go. Yep. So we have to go via the docks to get there. For those listening to the podcast, that was Chris doing a vampire type of hiss at the match. <laughs> Similar to what Alex does around electronics. 
Yeah, um, well, no, Alex, Alex yells demon. <laughs> yes, yes, but he sometimes hisses. As, he sometimes hisses. Oh, he does hiss? Okay. Yeah, very occasionally he does a whole hiss <clears throat> like a vampire. Um, okay. I figure, like, did you dress medium? Figure that we can at least walk through both, oh. even if we don't look like we belong to both. Yeah. Medium, medium is clean adventurer type clothing. You know, the sturdy clothing that you guys own, and you do have that. Uh, but I believe you guys also have, we're posh type clothing. Yes. I no, I wear adventure clothing with chainmail on, because fuck this place, just in case. Yeah, yeah, we've got, yeah, we, we've got, um, <clears throat> we've got adventure clothing per se as well from. And you guys both have the butcher's oh, mail and stuff? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, butcher's mail, exactly. Um, how are you going for funds in this location? Hmm? How are you for funds at this place? I'm okay. You... I have some money. All right. And do you have a false ID for this place? Do you have an ID for this place? I suppose there's a better way for aiming it. No, I don't think so. Not here. All right. So we'll need to organize that. That's 200 silver from the dragon, Don. We can visit him either on the way or after we visit the lighthouse and get you an ID. Otherwise, it'll otherwise it'll cause issue if we get acquisited by the um, law. Do you want to stop it by Dragon Don's first on the yeah. way to? Yeah. Okay. So on the way, I mm -hmm. will need to explain a couple of things to Doc. No problem. I will also be having random encounter time on the way, as yes, unlike yes. hacks who fucking have tables and shit. I've already figured out my random encounters. So. All right, so have, so have you heard of the lockpick gang, Doc? <laughs> no. So All good. right. So the lockpick gang, for some reason or another's fame, has been spreading far and wide. There's towns far outside of this place that have heard of them or heard of us as such. Anyway, Mildred's the head of the lockpick gang. Her her name is Fuck. I am the shotgun joker. <clears throat> And thank Mildred for that. So <laughs> you need to come up with a name so yep. that when we go and buy the ID. So yeah, when 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 we go there and the they refer to us as the lockpick gang and refer to me as shotgun joker, that's why. Tell them the new away. guy's name. That is hilarious. Uh, terrible secret is what <laughs> um, the new guy got named by Mildred. <laughs> That's actually a pretty awesome name. I like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So because uh, of this being a post-apocalyptic style thing, uh, those names aren't unusual. So you need to think of an alias that you want. If you wanted to use anything besides Doc. Mm. But anyway. Yeah. And thanks to Mildred, some people think I'm the Joker back in Red Carpet Land. Hmm. So I've got a bad feeling that she's mentioned it to Batman as well. <laughs> well, Batman has heard about, about it from the police. Anyway, yeah, we'll go to Dragon Don and get Doc ID. On the way there, there's a short bald Chinese looking guy who goes Psst. as you guys are going through the town center. He looks kind of sweaty, nervous, not not a high class guy. Give me spot hiddens and evidence analysis roles for uh, knowing for pulling a Sherlock Holmes, basically. Uh, spot hidden by 80. Great. Shows you examining his fucking genes. Mm -hmm. Spot by her. Spot hidden in what? And evidence, evidence analysis. analysis. Yeah, and evidence analysis by half. Oh, nice. Very nice. That's correct. Right. Uh, this guy is a hungover carpenter who's clutching. It looks like uh, some sort of message in his hand. It looks like one of those folded up papers with a seal on it. Chinese characters and shit. Uh, your your prior training at the school points heavily toward Mandarin, 
and he motions you over. Yes. He says, please, he extends the paper toward you. Take this to Du Li. Where would we find Du Li and why would we take it to Du Li? Oh, uh, you could find Du Li. Uh, he is at the uh, Out Inn. Uh, you are uh, on a quest. Yes, that's it, a quest. Right. He and extends the you, paper toward you. And why don't you take the paper to do... Oh, leave. I'm very busy really. now. Busy. Uh-huh. Please, you take. You take. Where the hell's the out in? Uh, uh, brothels. The Houses of Negotiable Affection Street. Okay. Yeah, where the hell? Oh, there we go. Not Wait, far away, mean? and it's actually on your way toward the docks. Eventually, I mean, you know. Is so the please. note he's holding towards us sealed, or is it just something with Mandarin written on it? It's sealed. <clears throat> What's it sealed with? A uh, wax. Wax, and then it's got like a, some sort of stamp that was Embossing. made. Of wax. Embossing. Right. Um, is the embossing a heraldry symbol, or is it more of yes, a... Yes, like, you can give me a uh, San Angeles Gothic post-apocalyptic heraldry roll. Yes. Yep. Nope. Excellent. Oops. Hang on a second. Yes. Ooh, one off a crit. God damn it. Uh, it's from one of the triad bosses in the city. You horrible person, you know. So why do you want us to take a triad message? We're not tr part of the triad. No, no. I, he turns white when you say triad. Uh, you are uh, just helping me out. I build you cabinet. You like cabinet? You can tell he's a carpenter, by the way, because he's got a little bit of sawdust on him, wood, you know, shit like that. All right. Um, we'll take the message. Thank you. Oh, thank you. He looks like he's ready to faint. In relief, he gives you the message and he goes, uh, Stop by my shop and make you covenant. And he stumbles off. All right. So we, we can play this two ways, Doc. We can take the message there or we can give the message to the Dragon Don, since the triad's probably in opposition to the Dragon Don. And we're in, we're sort of in his good books. So it may, he may find this of interest. Well, if we're going to take it to the Dragon Don, is that what it is? Yep, he. I think he's a shape. He looks like a shape change dragon. That's a human. Well, if we're gonna take it to him, we might as well pop it open and read it. And this guy's probably gonna be dead anyway. So probably. It's up to you. I mean, do you want to get in better graces with the Dragon Don or what? Yeah, it, yeah. It's that's exactly the question. I mean, the the Dragon Don, someone who's giving us material, so I suppose it's a question of if we want to build up rep with somebody else. Like having connections with the triad might be useful as well, depending on what we want to do going forward in this place. I hold it up to the light. Can you see through it? No, no, no. Uh, although in the little bits you can, definitely written in Mandarin is your guess. It probably says something like, today I memorized explosive runes or something horrible like that. <clears throat> so, using, like, a scalpel or something, could I peel it away from the wax, away from the, uh, the paper and open it and then reseal it? It would be super hard to do that. The whole reason for the wax on there is to make it apparent... You're thinking, plus, Dragon Don might know if it was unsealed because he seems like that kind of person. If you could even read in the Mandarin. The, the language that I speak fluently? Yes. That would be oh, yeah. right. I forgot. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's up to you. It, it, would, it would be a, uh, 
there would be some sort of skill rolls in there, uh, probably forgery to get it back into uh, shape. If you're comfortable with your forgery skill, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I, forgery is not something I have skill in myself. There was only one Maybe. PC that had forgery that I remember, and it was Cheryl. And she had the ultimate, I escape from the PC's character. And then she went insane and used forgery and disguise and acting and was better as an NPC than ever as a PC. <laughs> I mean, of course she was. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. The, the, the other way this could go is that we give it to Dragon Dawn. Dragon Dawn carefully opens it up, reads it, reseals it, and gets his to deliver it but with the triad, not knowing that he knows the contents, depending on what the contents is. That's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> 